Okay, so this is a kind of a special event, and I generally thank DigiPen for hosting this event and supporting this event. But it's actually being put on, this is a pre-festival event put on by the Animaticus Foundation, which is a foundation that's been set up to preserve and teach and evolve the art of traditional animation in the digital world. It doesn't mean to say that we think digital anima uh, traditional animation is the best, although we're kind of biased in some ways. But what we're doing is trying to preserve it so it doesn't get steamrolled away in the advance of technology. And we're trying to come up with new things. And uh, So the foundation was created for that purpose. And part of its mission is to bring animation to people and to bring animation to the world in general. Um, part of that mission is uh, the festival we're going to be putting on at the IMAX, the Boeing IMAX Theatre in the Pacific Science Centre on November 14th and 15th. And this is a preemptive event because we did ask Richard Williams to come to the festival, but actually he said that he's launching this in the UK on the same day. So we couldn't do that, so we uh, managed to uh, bring him here earlier um, as a taster of what's to come. So. That's part of the process. Now, the, another part of the process of the Animaticus Foundation is to applaud and, and, and honor people who have given significant contribution to the animation world. And for that, we've established there is a competitive film element to the festival where people win awards, but we have a non competitive award called the Roy E. Disney Award that we present to the person or the organization who has made the most outstanding contribution to animation in our movie. Uh, it's called the Roy E. Disney Award because two, uh, three years ago when the festival first started, we actually invited Roy E. Disney to come, and he did. We had the festival in Everett for two years. He came to the first one. I asked him if he would put his name to the award. He said he generously would, and I said, would you present the award? He said he would. So after his keynote speech, we kept him on the stage and said, okay, we're going to get to the moment where we present the award, and the winner is, and we gave it to Roy E. Disney himself. And the, reason, and the reason for that was he had just triumphed, the most amazing triumph. He removed Michael Eisner from Disney. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, and hopefully the heart beats again. We don't know, we'll see, but hopefully the heart beats coming back. So um, he was very touched and he was very honored, um, but he was very proud also to uh, put his name to the award. I actually contacted him and said who we would be giving the award to, and he was heartily in favor and said no person he could imagine deserved this award more. And, um, and of course, it's no secret that the recipient of the award is Richard Williams. Um, <laughs> and if you haven't read the blurb and you don't know anything about it, um, uh, in my opinion, one of the greatest animals to live, and as I've said before, I'm kind of biased because I was Dick's assistant for a year and a half at the director animator in the studio for a year and a half, for five years in the 70s. But because I've worked on the inside and worked with Dick, I just saw the passion. I was totally in awe of the passion. For all these reasons and for the fact that since the, as the years gone by, Dick has picked up three Oscars. He was the animation director of Who Frame Roger Rabbit wrote the total bible of animation, the animated survival kit, and numerous other things like, I think at the peak of the studio, we won more awards every year than all the other studios put together. It was a truly amazing time. Um, for all those reasons, I want to present today the Roy E. Disney Award. <laughs>
Seasonal Breathing Award. 